they just couldn't score. I mean, so sometimes uh, you, you you wonder, you know, when a club is going to get a point away from home, at least you should have something to celebrate. Like what uh, Gumbe United did to Ifa Yumba 2 2. I was shocked in, by that result, but knowing that Ifa Yumba 2, they know how to win at home. But Niger Tenders thinking they will build on what they started. They just couldn't do that. This one also ended goalless. Nothing to celebrate at all, just goalless. But then some crucial saves and also some crucial misses from some key players. So you wouldn't rule that out also. Then again, between um, Aqua United and Nassau United, that's one was another one. Aqua United just managed to get yeah, uh, two. You, you call yeah. it manager. Manage because they, they were down. They came out in the second yeah. half and, it, and they got the crucial it, it, victory. It showed, it showed fighting spirit. You know, they were, they were a, go, a goal down and uh, they came back from a goal down to actually win that game. And it has put them in second place uh, for now. And uh, these guys are actually... Uh, there too, because uh, like when I talked about the battle for uh, the second sports, you talk about MFL, you talk about Aqua United, yeah, you talk about Yimba. Yimba. You know, these guys are they are the ones actually really battling for that position. And right now, looking at what's happening, Yimba lost away from home, so Aqua United and MFL will have to uh, make sure they win. And uh, and Aqua United have done that. MFL on their way to doing that, and you know, so that they can keep uh, that momentum going. It's it's really going to be uh, interesting to watch how this final few weeks peter out uh, uh, between those guys looking for uh, because I, 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 if I'm a betting man now I put my money on Plato United winning the league alright okay. so I think it's better for second place we're, we're looking at now ok better for second place so Plato United running away with the league that's what he said this is going to happen still have more games to go let's take reactions from the game between Aqua United and Nassau at least a goal you know that they very very strong in the first 15 minutes and we at least we studied them very well and uh, we, uh, we, uh, it's just that we, we boiled, like I, as I said, they cannot manage the success. I think I think they were able to manage this, that little success in the first 45 minutes. I know they, make, they find it very difficult in the second half because they, they cannot get a team that they play two out, 90 minutes of the football. It's either they play and at least we did our own in the first 45 minutes, but second half they came out stronger. And they got the what they needed. And we told the boys that if you allow them to take up the midfield from you, we'll be under problem. And the first 15 minutes, if I was just marking, marking, not using the ball, the same thing goes to Arimu. That was not even led to the goal. There was a little bit slack in the middle. Okay, the, the, the second half, we will strategize. The, the kind of officiating we are getting here, if you can get 70% of that, all these three matches we are talking about, they, 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 they are matches we can go and win. But the problem is, will the people allow the game to flow the way it should? That is the question we should be asking. Though people will say it's an, it's, it's, they are just excuses. But even though they are excuses, would they allow the game to flow? If they were allowed the game to flow, certainly, out of nine, nine points, we should be able to come at least to minimum of four points. <laughs> well, the most important thing is you get what you want. Okay, now the game between MFM and Katsina is getting interesting. Katsina just pulled one back in the 69th minute. Katsina, Destiny, Ashadi, he called, is, is, well, let's call, we'll pull one back for the away team. We'll see how yeah. that game will go. We still have more games, more time to go, 73 minutes now. MFM will just have to see how they can keep up with this one. All right, so uh, that's it. Uh, still, so more time to play. But, but uh, that's what you have. This is how it looks uh, uh, on the table. Uh, if MFM wins, it means that six-point gap becomes uh, a three-point um, uh, three-point gap. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Most teams play at one, but at one matches. Plenty United, Aqua United, MFM, Aimba in the top four. And like rightly said, if I uh, still trying to see if they can, you know, yeah, ghost it. Actually, it's two points dropped for them. Because you know, you see, you see what they would have, uh, what they would have got to have meant, yeah. They would have gotten above Enyimba with that uh, victory, and they would have been in the top four. So it's really, really uh, bad for them. And Enyimba will get a reprieve, sort of, because uh, you know they would have expected, expected if Enyimba to go to win at home, and uh, why they lost away from home. But right now they have a reprieve, so they can actually keep uh, uh, be comfortable in that position and try to build on from that. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, Remo Stars, I think they are gone. <laughs> uh, looking at the bottom, uh, Gobe United. It seemed that. 
that's uh, that, that's why the result was very surprising. Look at where they are, and they went away to uh, uh, Ifan Yuba and were able to not not just get a point. They scored two goals away yeah. from home. It's tricky yeah, playing against so. relegation yeah, threat. So, so right now, it, you, I don't think you want to play against these guys. <laughs> and Rangers International, I, I don't know. I don't know. It will be really sad with everything that has been happening uh, outside yeah, football. ABS is and, uh, having an ultimatum right too. Now. You talked about games, uh, teams that are down. Sometimes they just know how to beat those who are trying to get up from where they are. I mean, <laughs> Rangers, ABS, I thought Rangers go to ABS and pick up something, but... No, they didn't, ABS didn't get, didn't get distracted, but Rangers... That was the third game of Harry Makiwa, right? For the <laughs> yeah. Well, at least he, 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 we got one draw, lost one, and he won one, so he should be free. <laughs> are, are you part of the ABS? Are you part of the board? I'm just saying, it should be left. Are you part of the board? When you're giving ultimatum like that, sometimes you you know you know that okay, you you'll be free. All right, now let's uh, <laughs> uh, talk about uh, one of our teams. We talk about the national team now. Uh, talking about uh, the all based super eagles we now know that they will be playing against uh Belay republic we know that we were going to play uh, in the next round so we're waiting for who was going to uh uh you know play uh we were going to play between Belay and togo but of course they've defeated uh, the hawks of togo uh, the squirrels that is uh, three two uh, on aggregate and uh, we'll be playing the first leg against them on august uh, the 13th uh, so with what you've, with the little you know uh, about Belin and what you've seen of the players playing their trade uh, at home, is there any reason for us to worry? Uh, uh, definitely, <laughs> they, they defeated the Hawks. Uh, so that, that, that is reason enough for it to worry because I think let's even talk about uh, the national teams, not the chances now. You can say the Hawks are, are, are way ahead of the better, the better Republic team. And uh, so it has sort of translated to uh, the... Uh, the home base side, but right, the the the, Bennett, the squares were still able to go to get a victory, you know, over two legs against uh, the Hawks of Togo. So it's not going to be uh, a, a, a bygone affair for Nigeria. We know what we need to do. Yes, uh, we could have gotten uh, other uh, maybe tougher opponents, but we should not underrate these guys. We've seen what happened in the qualify qualifiers for the Afghan proper, where South Africa came here and defeated us, you know, getting the victory. So we know we should not take anything for granted. And these players know that this is their chance. You know, we keep talking about them. Uh, you're talking about some home base players getting to the Super Eagles and everything. This is the this is the best uh, right. platform for you to go out there and showcase what you're all capable right. of doing. Uh, Chinas, I just hold the thoughts a little. We're going to go on a break now. When we return, we'll travel abroad. We'll take a look at what is happening abroad. Silly season, talk about transfers, and a whole lot more for you. We we'll also take a look at the papers. A whole lot more for your sponsors.